someone's got to answer the question and it might as well be me. How do you push out the last drop of pee? It's, you're not pushing pee. Um, maybe, maybe you're pushing pee. I, look, I'm pushing pee. But you're not pushing pee. It's less of a push. You're going to fucking injure yourself. If you aren't aware of this age old mystery, this is, this is pretty much how it goes. No matter how much you squeeze it, beat it, shake it, juice it, milk it. I don't, I don't know what you want to call it. But no matter what you do to try to get every last drop out, there seems to be that one motherfucking drop of piss that makes it into your underwear or on your pants. I mean, shit, it can go anywhere. This is realistically how it works. Longer urethra, more residual urine, higher chance you're going to miss a drop. And that's what you're trying to eliminate, right? No one wants this. Everyone wants clean fucking underwear, let me tell you. Um... <laughs> But it's not a push. You're not pushing pee. You know what you're doing? I feel like a good analogy is like, because everyone has done this, toothpaste, rolling it up and pushing it out, but less violent. Think of it as like a yogurt tube. Fingers are up in there underneath the shaft and the balls and you're just fucking juicing this bitch. You're squeezing it. Um, Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's like a yogurt tube. Literally like a yogurt tube. Like tubes as a kid, yogurt tubes. I don't even know if they still make those. That's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gotta be. Um, you don't you don't squeeze it. You ain't you're pushing. You're not giving fucking birth. 